Have you ever wondered how to analyze investment properties for maximum returns? How to calculate your return on investment? Today, we will demystify this process and equip you with the knowledge you need to make savvy investments. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand the importance of location. Location, location, location. It's not just a real estate cliche. A property's location can drastically affect its value, rental income, and potential for appreciation. So always make it a point to research the local market, neighborhood trends, and future development plans. Next, consider the potential rental income. This is the amount of money the property could potentially generate each month. A simple way to estimate this is by looking at similar properties in the area and what they are renting for. Now, subtract the operating expenses from the rental income to calculate the net operating income. Operating expenses can include things like property taxes, insurance, maintenance, property management fees, and vacancy costs. It's important to remember that these costs vary and can be unpredictable, so always factor in a margin for unforeseen expenses. NOI or net operating income, which we just discussed, is calculated by subtracting the operating expenses from the rental income. It's the profit made from the property before accounting for taxes and financing costs. Next, we have the cap rate or capitalization rate. This is calculated by dividing the NOI by the property's current market value. It's a measure of the potential return on an investment. A higher cap rate indicates a better potential return on your investment. Let's not forget about the debt service or mortgage payments. If you're financing the property, these payments can significantly impact your cash flow. Cash flow is the net income from a property after all expenses, including mortgage payments, have been paid. It's calculated by subtracting the total expenses from the total income. Positive cash flow means the property is generating more income than expenses, which is definitely what you want. Lastly, we have the cash on cash return. This is calculated by dividing the annual pre-tax cash flow by the total cash invested. It's a measure of the return on the actual cash invested in the property. This calculation is especially useful for investors who finance their property, as it takes into account the influence of financing on the investor's return. These calculations are crucial in analyzing the profitability of an investment property. Remember to always consider these factors when making your investment decisions. It's not just about buying a property, it's about making a smart, informed investment. However, while cash flow and ROI are crucial, they aren't the whole picture. We also need to look at the property's potential for appreciation, how much its value could increase over time. While this is more speculative and harder to predict, it's an essential part of the analysis. In summary, to analyze an investment property, research the location, estimate the potential rental income, calculate the net operating income, determine the ROI, consider the potential for appreciation, and factor in the debt service. Remember, successful real estate investing isn't about luck or timing. It's about thorough, careful analysis and making informed decisions. So take these steps, apply them rigorously, and you'll be well on your way to maximizing your returns on investment properties. Now it's over to you to put this knowledge into action. Happy investing!